I have just arrived in Randleman, North Carolina for my early morning delivery, which is Wednesday, which it seems like Monday. But one of the cool things about that, two days from now I'll get paid. I just won't get to go home. <laughs> I'll have a few more days uh, in my week. But I've just checked in and this guy, he's went inside. I don't know if I'm going to get unloaded here or he said I may have to go to the warehouse, which is somewhere close by. But I tell you, I feel a lot better than I did last week. It's amazing. After I went on my run and worked up a sweat, I don't know if I sweated out some toxins or whatever I had in my body, but I've been feeling much, much better. It's a little harder for me anyway, to keep that activity up when I'm on the road, which I may have walked all of about 100 feet so far today, but the day's not over. And I do have a pedometer on my phone that keeps up with the steps and things. Only deal on that is you gotta have your phone in your pocket for it to work, and your phone has to be charged and all that good stuff. But I'm thinking an Apple Watch will be in my future. that unloading is done now I've got my next load I'm picking up off the Charlotte yard and headed over to US Foods in Zebulon hopefully it'll be a drop in hook fresh out of the shower. This is at a pilot, which you can tell by the way it looks on the inside. It hadn't always been a pilot, but guess what else is here? Anybody ever been to Iowa 80 or Joplin 44 in Missouri before? Most of you that aren't truck drivers probably haven't, but check this out. We are here in Kenley. North Carolina and across the street is a big old truck stop with a lighthouse. There are several restaurant choices inside. This big addition here has recently been added. This I hear opened around Thanksgiving of 2016. Do you guys want to check it out on the inside? Let's go. And has this old truck a Dodge inside and there are several restaurant choices all of them aren't currently open but the iron skillet which has a buffet but yeah it's got all your convenience store truck stop gift shop sort of things if you like pins they got some from military to pet lovers here's all the truck stops that's connected to that. There's the most famous, world's largest, Iowa 80, uh, Joplin 44, Effingham. It's not nearly like this, it's a chrome shop. And then the one we're at now in Kinley. The one I have not been inside yet is Oak Grove. It's right outside Kansas City, Missouri. 
Now there's somebody has been looking for this. A standing black lab toilet paper holder. The toy section. Plenty of trucks. Stuffed animals. Puppets. Pretty good selection for a truck stop. Lots of DVDs and audio books, backpacks, and then plenty of trucking supplies. Been having trouble finding a record player? Come to the Kinley 95. And then there's guitars and more trucking accessories, such as steering wheels. There's probably some shifting knobs. Check it out, ladies. A pink Peterbilt. A pink Peter build. And then the second truck boy. Kind of reminds me of a pack of marble reds. Which maybe that's what they're going for. This is North Carolina, you know. And Elvis is in the building. What's up, King? So if you had a chance to ask the King one question, what would it be? So what are you all shook up about? That's cool. like a Marlboro pack. That's a pretty cool looking truck. Now, notice this has a trailer inside and it's blank and white, kind of like the one I'm hauling around. It's not going to stay that way. At the Iowa 80 and the Joplin 44, which is on a, well, 80 and 44, this one's on 95. Soon, there will be a mural of I-95, which will start, you know, like in New York, Connecticut type area and go down to Florida. Well, they'll be painting some type of artist rendition mural of 95. And where we're at now will be probably about the center or so of it. So. Next time I come in the have that, I'll be sure to show it to you guys. But it is time to get on the road. But this is the Kinley 95 in Kinley. Oh, 95. Not very small, far from Smithfield. But since I was here, guys, you know I had to take you in. Which I've been here before, but that new part with the trucks, well, it wasn't here then. That's new. The next time, we'll see the mural. But this is also a very big parking lot with a blue beacon. But there are 350 parking spots out here in this parking lot. Which I guess your average for truck stops are probably around 100. This says 350. Iowa 80 has like eight or 900. And I think the Joplin 44 has like 600. So this is one of the larger parking spots. I mean parking, yeah, parking lots or parking spots. Parking lots with a whole bunch of parking spots. people we are coming close to the end of this week it is Saturday afternoon and I rode by the Talladega Motor Speedway there in Alabama there were campers everywhere people partying getting ready for the big race that'll be tomorrow I'm currently 
in Louisville, Kentucky, and guess what today is? Yep, that's right. Derby Day in Louisville. The Kentucky Derby's going on. And it's also Massey's birthday today. Getting ready to give him a call and I've got to take a break in the next hour and a half. Maybe it'll work out where Massey and I can hang out for a minute or maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I'm at the General Electric plant here in Louisville picking up a load of I guess it's like refrigerators or washers and dryers and things. It's going to the Lowe's DC in North Carolina, which I am 468 miles from. And then after that, uh, I guess I'll get a load taking me close to the house because it'll be Sunday, which is my last day of the week. There are always geese here at the G plant. And when I mean always, I mean every freaking time. And I see some. They're kind of hiding out there in the grass. I don't know if you can see them. Funny little piece of information about geese. They have pretty big turds. I mean, they're about the size of a Chihuahua's turd. But you'll have to go back in time. I, I showed it on video back in the U.S. Express days. No time for goose poop today. Got to get on the road. All right, people. It is Saturday night, and I am shutting down in Knoxville at exit 398 off 40. This truck stop's a little different than most. There's a chapel here, so if you're here on Sunday morning, uh, I think they have a service. And there's also a little urgent care here. Doesn't seem to be open now, but if you need a CDL physical or got a pimple on your butt or something, maybe they can help you out. But my plan is to take a little bit of a walk, not across the street to the Taco Bell, or the crystals, which you guys, I can assure you, you will never, ever see Jim go to crystals or White Castle. Both of them, in my opinion, are absolutely disgusting. The little fake hamburger meat and freaking onions on those little uh, roll type burgers, just not my thing. But there is Hey Blows Grill over here. I've seen billboards for it, like voted best restaurant in Knoxville. So uh, I'm gonna take a little stroll and check it out. Since I didn't have Mexican on Cinco de Mayo. Actually, this place isn't Mexican. So I guess no fajitas for Jim. This is a pretty exciting menu, but I think I've decided on the grill ahi tuna tacos. The tacos were by far the tastiest things I've had all week, which really isn't saying a whole lot. I had like Arby's and, and Wendy's earlier in the week, but those tuna Tacos, mwah, they were delicious. But I'm gonna see if I can top it. I've got some chocolate hazelnut mousse cake on the way. It's here. That's pretty good. If you guys ever get a chance, Puleos. That's how you say it. Puleos. It's a pretty good place. But I guess I'm gonna head back to the truck, edit the little video, get some sleep, and I don't know. If I wake up and have a little time, I'll take a shower. If not, I'll just roll on without a shower. So until next episode, guys, be safe out there and keep on trucking.